Hello. Hello. I am Archangel Ariel. Hi, Archangel Ariel. Thank you for coming. Blessings. Much appreciation. Thank you, and much appreciation for you as well. Thank you for calling us and helping us and believing with us. Uh, remind me, what's your specialization? What, what do you specialize on? <laughs> I'm a communicator, and I'm, I do a little bit of everything. Oh. But my major thing is communication. I'm also a healer. Ah. How urgent is the book? How what? Urgent. Urgent. I'm not saying that the book is urgent, but it will provide great understanding to those that have some misunderstanding about aliens in general. They will find that their other species live similar lives, but with many differences, of course. But they have to move through their lives in a similar way, organized and spiritually, etc. I heard uh, on one of YouTube videos that they expect the disclosure to happen in the early spring. So that would make an, an urgency for the book release. It would be an urgency, but I do not think disclosure will come that soon. Uh -huh. But please be as quick as possible. I guess urgency is the right word, but I wouldn't use it in the sense that the information is so necessary that it cannot wait, but the sooner the better. Thank you. It and will also help you personally, the sooner the better. Right. Um, how, is the, how are the things in the spiritual side? What is happening globally and um, galactically? You realize today is inauguration day for your new president. I didn't pay attention, but I noticed the word on, uh, on the screen. He is given his acceptance speech and it will be hard to live up to it. So I see that there will be some hard times for the United States, perhaps, unless he can get all those that are around him to work for him in a way that is productive. Um, okay. Um, I understand. How about the spirit side? Is there any like big events happening? Big ah, spiritually things are going well. The ascension continues to move forward. And actually, because of this president, it will probably move forward even greater with some people. Um, and some places. David Wilcox says that, and a few other people expect the ascension to happen in uh, our lifetime. Is it uh, a possibility? It is happening at a faster rate at this time, but I still do not see it happening within this lifetime, not for the entire population. He is correct that some will assimilate in this lifetime, but not the entire population. Assimilate is not the right word. It will be ascend or shift or transcend. There will be some transferences, I understood but not the entire population. Um, David Wilcox says about astronomical event, like a flash on the sun, which would shift the reality. It did already. Ah. So maybe it would be an awakening and not the ascension? 
there will there are things that have changed in your future now that this flash has happened now that this particular election is complete certain things from in the future have changed the economic collapse is less likely because the nations of your planet fear this new president and are girding up their loins, so to speak, financially, and watching what they are spending because they know him to be a financial wizard and they think that he is not honest. So they think that somehow he will be able to cheat them. All right. <clears throat> so therefore, it is less likely that some of these economies will collapse sooner, but rather collapse much later. Uh-huh, right. The uh, fallen angels, um, can you give a comment on what they are, what they were? Angels? Fallen, fallen angels. Fallen angels are not actually fallen. They have made their choices. Angels were created. Mm -hmm. Now there are those coming out saying that angels were not all created, that some were uh, uh, done and belong to the oversoul. This is not exactly true. Let me explain. Fallen angels are those that have decided that they wanted to be more like God and he would not allow them to be, be that way in a heavenly setting because no one can rise above him. But yet they wanted to try. He said they could not, but if they wanted to leave and try their own lives, he would allow that. So they did. Many of them left, but found corruption and that they were disenchanted with life outside of the realms of the spiritual angel realms. And so they turned into dark beings, or at least some of them did. Now, that is why they are called fallen, is because they are not of the high realms any longer. They have chose to belong to lower realms. Now, those that are created, which are all angels, can become human if, or they can become part of any species if they want to, but they live out their lives in that lifespan of that species. Then they can go to the oversoul. Then that is how they, it is explained that they become part of the oversoul and not of the angel realms. However, those that have fallen have stayed within a hierarchy realm, within a realm of control. And so they are the hierarchy of negativity, if you want, wish to call it that. But those that have just escaped into species then become part of the oversoul. And they don't become angels again? Not, not usually. Mm -hmm. It is possible. <coughs> if, if they were on a planet for a purpose that was God-related, ah. they can return to angelic realms. Got it. So if they were on assignment, it's different. Yes. Have you been on assignment as a human? I have not. I see. But I have witnessed many things in many species. And therefore, even though I may have not firsthand knowledge of some situations, I do have the wisdom of the outcome of their actions. Uh-huh. 
So Mia Farrow seems like uh, a candidate to be an incarnated angel on a mission. She's still alive, so I don't know if you can disclose. I, I intend to publish that piece, so I don't know. Speak as if it would be published. There are many angels on your planet at this time on mission, and some angels that have just come to live out their lives there because they want to experience the oversoul eventually. But Mia Farrow is of angelic stock of one sense or another, but she is there to live out her life as a human. I see. Um, and she had a very strong connection to Sinatra. Is Sinatra connected to angels in any way? Sinatra was not. I see. In the, was not personally an angel figure, but with connections, yes. He was connected to others that were in angelic realms. He himself was not from angelic realms. Jim needs some, to, to breathe some air. What? Jim needs some air. One moment. Are you sure? Uh, he started losing some energy flow. Ah, I didn't notice. Yeah. It is all right. He seems fine. Maybe it was because the topic of Sinatra is charged. Uh, so, can you disclose any spiritual side of Sinatra? He was taken over by negativity at one point, but found it to be not what he w wished to have happen. And so, therefore, fought his way free from it in many perspectives. That is how he was able to attach to some angelic beings that were earthbound. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Um, do you have anything else? I think I ran out of questions for the angels, but I have questions to some extraterrestrials. Very well. Which extraterrestrials do you wish to speak to? Uh, I just learned about Blue avians, which are uh, in the solar system on a sphere, on, on the ships of the sphere shape, round ships. Yes. So, They're in charge of the solar system. They let those in and out that need to come in and out. So I would like to invite any of them to speak if, if they, if they uh, wish to. Very well. It was good to speak to you today. Thank you very much for your visit and your help. Excellent. We appreciate who you are and we'll visit with you again. Thank you.